Look, looked like a pretty similar lineup tonight. Any changes in the offing? No, no changes. No changes Elvis? Elvis is uh, starting, yes. You said the other night that you wanted to play faster in the third and then you'll have that good push. Is that more of what you need to see tonight for this game? Well, I, watching the game back, uh, um, I really liked our start. Um, we, had, uh, we had good jump. We had good support all over the ice. And in the third period, we, uh, we pushed the pace quite a bit. Um, we had to, right? Um, trailing from behind. But the mindset was right the whole game. We've made a few mistakes in the second period, cost us a few goals, but it wasn't a team, uh, any team mistakes. It was individual mistakes. Um, so the mindset was right for 60 minutes. We'll, we'll, we want to recreate that kind of mindset for sure. Looks like there was some shuffling around on the first unit power play out there. How are you guys still trying to f uh, fill the gap that Boone left, not having him out there? Well, we're facing a pretty good penalty kill. Um, they have good sticks, uh, big bodies. Uh, it's hard to bring pucks at the net. So, uh, we tried a few things this morning. We're, we're going to see how it goes tonight, and uh, we might refer back to what we did the last few games. We'll see how it goes, but it was just to uh, um, give the guys some touches and uh, see what we can do differently. You've had, uh, say with Boone being out, you have to try some different things out there, and Cole's been one of the guys you've kind of looked at. Obviously, you need, you need a center out there, but is it also for a young guy like that a good experience? To try, you know, he's probably going to be playing a role like that down the road, so maybe get him out there and kind of see how he does right now. Yeah, well, Cole and uh, you got Bemstrom there. Uh, we're trying to give him some, some time on the power play. We know he can shoot the puck. And then Cole, um, we know he can be a half-wall guy on the power play. He's got a real good shot and then good vision. He can win those uh, puck battles as well. But being a net front guy is uh, something that he can do as well. He's a big body. He's, he's young, but he's a strong man. Uh, so we want to work on those guys and then put them in different positions. So. Um, they might not be totally successful right now, but they will be in the future, but they need reps. They need to be there and, and, and understand, like if you go against a guy like Chara, you need to play it a little bit differently than a smaller D. So learning all those little uh, things um, and what it takes to be in that position on the power play. Uh, but it's true for also, and what Lars, uh, has, and what we've been doing all year is, is to give him time on the ice and, and put him in position. Some nights he's playing against the top line and, and he did well. He's, he's a good hockey player. We really don't care about how old he's, he is. He's a, he's a hockey player. Just out of curiosity, you mentioned Lars there. I mean, how much are you in contact with him or does he trust you to kind of just keep the ship rolling? No, no. Lars just is the head coach and uh, I'm just here to fill the position. Um, sure, do the interviews? Well, yes, um, <laughs> but but you know, yes, Lars is um, is is aware of everything we do. Uh, run it by him. Uh, we have discussions, uh, obviously not in person, but on the phone. And same thing with Mac. Um, so no, he's uh, there's no changes there. 